Hi guys, my name is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a competition piece for you guys. So without any further ado, let's get on to the video. There are so many artists, YouTubers out there and so many are so amazing. But if you follow the bigger ones, you might have heard about Draw with Jazza. He is a really great artist, YouTuber. And his skills with art and drawing and coping markers and everything is just insane. I very much enjoy watching his channel. I have subscribed to him for the longest of times. He's actually a featured channel on my channel because he's one of the people that I look up to. So he is hosting a competition and I could not resist. So this competition basically is about an artist army and you have to draw what you see for an artist army and for my drawing i really wanted to have it in the literal sense of word now he did say that the word artist army kind of came from zhc which is another artist here on youtube and his channel is really big as well and apparently he borrowed the word or the words artist army from him and he's asking people who want to join the competition to make a drawing or a piece with this in whatever medium desired so of course i went in with my beloved copic markers because why not they're pretty much the only thing that i'm most practiced in right now and most comfortable with so that's what i wanted to do so as you could see earlier i started out by making the line art on my sketch pad and i just want to tell you guys there was so much work that went into this video it was crazy let me know down below in the comments how long you think i've worked on this piece i'll also put like a poll up here in the top so that you can vote on that but it was insane and I'll let you know in the end of the video how long I've worked on this because it was quite long. I'm really happy with it, don't get me wrong, I'm really happy with it but it was really long. So I started out on my iPad with the sketch and I wanted, I wanted to figure out who to draw exactly. Now I knew I wanted to draw Jazza with like a general kind of tablet on and I knew I wanted to draw ZHC as well because he's the one that the words artist army came from so I wanted to include him as well and he's one of the people here on YouTube that I admire as well so that's kind of what I went for I picked a few artist youtubers that I look up to. I think their artwork is great, their videos are amazing, and I enjoy watching their content. So that's what I went for. So to call them all out, I went for Drawing with Waffles. I think her art is so nice. She's got such an amazing style, and every time I watch her videos, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe she's just making this. And sometimes she calls that her bad day. I'm like, oh my goodness like you don't want to see my bad day because like it doesn't even look like a human figure i think <laughs> but i love her style and it's amazing i've included zhc as i mentioned before so i think he's awesome as well i wanted to make sure he had like the little hair of like his logo as well so i thought that really suited like his helmet it kind of looks more like the general helmet than what jazz has got on because he's just got like a regular helmet and outfit but sure of course I had to draw um, Jazza himself as the general and the reason I made him the general is because he's the one hosting the competition and I thought he deserved the honor of just getting the general name. I included myself in there because I want to be part of the artist army too. I am still such a small channel but I really want to be part of it. I am drawing, I consider myself more artist than I'm not. So why not? Like, this is my opportunity, so heck with it. Like, I'm just going for it. And I included Bailey J, who's at the right as well. I think she seems like such an amazing person. I really enjoy her videos and oh my god, all these people out there are just so amazing. And at the bottom left corner, pointing at the sword, is Emily Artful. And I actually watched a video of hers yesterday and I just, I just love it. Like she seems so honest and amazing in her videos. 
and all these people are so great. Now you've probably noticed, or you might have noticed, that I have not mentioned two people that are in this drawing, but that I have drawn. <laughs> they kind of snuck in and it's, it's kind of up to you to say if you can figure out who they are. Like, I'd be surprised if you can't, especially for one of them. It's very obvious the other one is a bit more tricky. They're not, I'll say this, they're not YouTubers. And should I say this? They're, they're not alive. I don't know if it's fair for me to say that. <laughs> but, but sure, I'll leave the rest up to you guys. You tell me who you think they are. And the reason I included them, it might become obvious when you know a bit about me and then more about them as well. So I'll, I'll let you see if you can figure it out. So for coloring it in, I went for the skin first. I wanted to make sure that I had the skin tones down and I think it didn't go too bad. I think I gave myself a bit more of a holiday tan than I originally intended to. <laughs> I haven't been on holiday yet, but I'm going, I promise. But yeah, that was kind of a little bit oopsie because I think usually I'm a lot more paler than I've drawn myself right now. So whoops, goals for holiday, I suppose. And after that, I decided to do the outfits and the structure. So that's what I did. And for the structure, I went in with two different colors of brown. I went in with darker one color and I wanted to give the wood kind of like a texture. That's what I went for and I think that works. I think I can't complain about that, it worked. And at the left bottom side, you'll see more structural bits as well. And my idea was to have like an X shape go below the actual thing that the guy is standing on, the archer is standing on. And there is one at the front side as well. But you can't see that because I put the characters in front of it. But I sketched it. So if you look at the sketch, you can see it's there. But then I put characters characters in front of that. So I also want to say, I really hope that these artists that I've all drawn don't mind me drawing them. I enjoy drawing them. I try to look up reference pictures and everything. And I'm really sorry if you don't like the bit that I've drawn for you. I'm really sorry. I. I'm not too practiced in drawing from references and these are one of my first people that I've drawn from using actual real life references. The rest all just came from memory, from my head and are all purely made up. I did not use any references for my previous ones and these ones are so that's my only hope that people are not getting offended by how I've drawn them <laughs> and it kind of is a little bit nerve-wracking because I know that I'll try and see if I can send this out there and just tell them that I've drawn them and asking them that I hope you don't mind and I'm sorry if I screwed up your character but for drawing with waffles it was so hard to find a reference of her that I actually had to go for a reference of uh, meet the artist drawing that she's made so that's what I've tried to do so I'm really sorry if this doesn't really look like you but I I've tried my best and for the armor i wanted to try and give it like the structure of like an armored vest as well or a harness or however you call them I, I don't know those terms really but i want to give the structure that it was more protective and that it wasn't like really smooth and shiny so that's why i went over there with the darker gray and those all have been done with that cool grace and Basically, there are tons of little X's. That's what I've done to try and create the structure there. As for the tree, I went in. You saw that I did not make the line art and I did that on purpose because I felt that if I did the line art, it, it wouldn't look right and I wasn't quite sure how to do it. So that's why I went without line art and just done the trees like that. So I made patches of green for like the base of the leaves and then I layered it by putting in darker and darker green colors and I put in their yellow green so it's yellow green 97 and 99 that I've used to give it more like a brown color as well to give it a bit more depth as well so I like I do know that for this drawing it's got a lot of brown tones and that's because I kind of wanted to have it similar to 
the time that they didn't have modern things yet so that's what i wanted to do hence more leather looking and more brown tones and i know that the pink hair of bailey doesn't make sense in that time frame either but she's she's had pink hair for a while so i really wanted to feature that <laughs> so i think that looks good so yeah it's kind of a mix of both like of course the youtube banner they didn't have anything like that back then and like i might not have made things 100 percent accurate and i am changing things as well i know i'm making them swords but then i was like no it looks much better if they're actually pencils so i am changing that later so i know that i am shading in all the swords right now but it will change so all of a sudden it will have changed Woo! um that's because i made the decision last moment and also because this took me so long to record and i had so much footage to go through and to pick moments off and everything to make like a, a decent video i had to cut a lot of footage a lot so that was a little bit insane and i don't know how my computer managed because my computer is having a hard time doing the things it has to do for these videos to begin with so let alone with like this massive video and the worst thing is this is not even the biggest project i've got on this is only what like eight people on there and background okay well true it's got my, like more of a background but i've got a project where i have to color in 22 people all drawn from real life people it's a project that i'm that i've offered to do and i'm kind of thinking why <laughs> i don't know why i did that but sure that's what i did so for the background i decided to go in with like the earth tone colors first because i wanted to try and see if i could have that come through a little in between the grass that i'm going to put in and i like how it looks it's still a little bit flat i did give it some shadows and some highlights like this I didn't really have all the colors that I needed in order to do this properly and that's kind of my issue like since god knows when like I just need more copy colors I'm actually going to order more so yeah that's hard working with copy colors that you've got and especially when you've used almost every single one of them that you have you're like oh my god how am I going to do this and what if I like I want this color but I don't have that color is there something similar and then there isn't and then you have to revise your whole plan so for the grass i went in i kind of had the same tactic as the tree i went in with like the lightest color of green first and then i went over with darker colors of green and like browns and things so just to give it more depth and everything and i put a paintbrush in the middle and i know i'm not a painter myself i use Copic markers as you guys know I just started my digital art on my iPad which is amazing I love it don't get me wrong it's just that I just like the paintbrush on this rock so much more than a Copic marker so I did add in Copic markers in the background and on the rock itself and it looks so awesome and the dudes are carrying like a case of Copic markers too which is so cool <laughs> I love it I really do and then I like to to finish I pretty much colored in all the leaves and blended all the shades together so I've used three shades for the leaves and blended them all together and I did them section by section really so that I still had time to blend and that works I'm quite happy with them it's kind of how I always do my leaves so maybe I need to find a new way of doing them and they always turn out a bit darker than I plan but they work out I like them a lot so that works really really well for me and then the last thing basically on the picture because everything else has been done and you saw me skipping over a little bit at a time so if you want to see a more detailed version of my drawings check out my other videos guys you can see much more how I'm doing things I know I'm like skipping time in this drawing and again it's because it took so long I had to I had no other choice otherwise you would have had to sit through two hours of me drawing and no one wants that so <laughs> that's why I did that so if you want to see more detailed and close-up work of how I'm doing things check out my other videos because you can see it right there 
and for the rock i used a number of different neutral grays and i just wanted to give it like a warmer feel but i don't have warm grays so again got to do with things you have and that worked i want to give him some shadows where the paintbrush is and where the creases are and where the copic markers are lying on just to give it more depth to it so that works also just to reveal to you guys the total recording time was 16 hours and 48 minutes Jazza, if you see this, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like the outcome of my work here. I really worked hard on this and I hope it shows and I'll keep my fingers crossed. And even if I don't win anything, it was just such a pleasure to do this and so much fun to make. And for everyone else out there, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate it. And please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below if you enjoyed this. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.